The site search report in Google Analytics is the best tool to use to find out what users are searching for when they are already on your site. You can find the site search report under the behavior section in Google Analytics. And if you don't have site search set up, I've attached a link to the instructions in the video description. Now I blurred out all the other search term except for shoes because I thought that'd be a good one to go to for this particular retail client. I wanted to create an audience off of anyone who typed shoes on my website because one, I know users are interested and they're more engaged because they're searching on my website, but two, I know what they were searching for. So I know a better intent from this audience and I want to get back to them with any future marketing campaigns knowing that they like shoes on my website. So how do we utilize this search term? First, head over to the admin section in Google Analytics. This is in the lower left hand corner and it's got the little gear symbol that you can see. After you click on that, we will be in the admin section of Google Analytics. Find the middle property column and scroll down a little bit and you will see audience definitions. If you click on audience definitions, then head over to audiences. One of the great things about Google Analytics is that we have the ability to create audiences off of almost anything that can be tracked within Google Analytics. So to create a new audience, just click on the red new audience button and then click on create new. Now for site search, we need to go down to conditions. There are a lot of conditions that we can choose from and the default one we're gonna see is add content. We are gonna to wanna to switch up the option from add content to say search terms. One thing to keep in mind is that we are not pulling PPC search terms. These are the search terms that are from Google Analytics that are pulling from your website. And we wanted to create an audience from the search term shoes, remember? So let's type that in. And already when I have my mouse on the form field, we can see shoes is the number two option just like it was on the site search Google Analytics report. So I'm going to select that option. Now you do have the ability to add other layers to it and other conditions under demographics, technology, user behavior. But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna keep it short and just click apply. I'm just creating an audience out of anyone who looked for shoes on my website. Now you can review your audience. You can change the membership duration to potentially increase the cookie pool you wanna keep these users. Right now we can see over the last seven days, there's only been four users searching for that term. So it's gonna take a little bit for this particular audience to build, but we're gonna be ready for it when the time comes. And you'll get to review where you can use these audiences. Once I get to 100 users every 30 days, I'll be able to use this for display remarketing. If I get 1,000 active users every 30 days, I'll be able to use this in my search ads for RLSA. Next, I'm just gonna name my audience real quick. This one is just gonna be shoes. Then the final step before publishing, is searching for your destinations of which Google Ads account you want to attach this audience to. Once you have that option selected, just hit OK, and then you can hit Publish, and the audience is saved. The site search report in Google Analytics is a great way to understand what customers are actually looking for when they are on your website or landing pages. And PPC marketers can really benefit from these audiences that we can create within Google Analytics. We can take this information of what users are actually looking for and come up with next step marketing campaigns to get back in front of these users with good ad creative that speaks to what the user was actually looking for. Thanks for watching our video. Make sure to subscribe to the Paid Media Pros channel to see more videos. 